Hello YouTube, this is the Gentleman Scholar coming to you from New Orleans. Uh, this is the first of a first day of a four day trip that I'm doing for the airline that I work for. Um, and this time I wanted to uh, get out and explore a little bit. Most of were, were near the French Quarter, so I decided to uh, try to find a smoke shop I came across a couple of visits ago, like sometime in the early spring, but of course it was closed. And this is the place. It's a uh, Crescent City Cigar Shop. Uh, Armando Ortiz is the owner. Uh, he was in when I walked in. Very, very nice guy. And he says to me, so come on, try, try some of my blends. I'll, uh, where's your pipe? And of course, back in the hotel room. Why would I bring my pipe when I was looking for a, you know, looking for a smoke shop? You know, that would make too much sense. But anyway, um, I ended up, you know, he was, he's opening up his cabinets for me and showing, showing me all kinds of, you know, all kinds of stuff like Savinelli's and the whole thing. And I'm just like in, in awe and I'm like, oh, you don't have to do this for me. I'm afraid to touch them because I don't want to drop them and break them. But it's very honored. But anyway, um, gentleman gave me, he he says he has this like a pipe guru who would come in. His name's Joe. And I'm like, of course, I missed him by a day. And um, had that been the case, the guy's like, he says the guy's like an encyclopedia of pipe pipes and tobaccos and everything like that. It would have been really great to um, talk with someone like that. But anyway, um, Armando gave me um, a bit of a blend that he puts together. It's very, um, it's very, very rum-like. You know, it has like a, like a rum aroma to it. But uh, it's very, very nice of him. And uh, there's like at least three really good smokes there. And of course, I ended up buying something called a favorite of um, Padre. Um, Padre Francis, forgot his name for a second. Padre Francis, a uh, haunted bookshop. He's uh, he's mentioned it in many many other visit many other videos, and I thought I'd uh, just give this a try. And it's small enough, so if I really don't like it, it won't be um, long before I finish it. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I found the place. And um, New Orleans basically has like a ton of cigar shops. I mean, this is just a major like pipe cigar store, but they're like a little. Lots of little side shops that double as gift shops that sell pipes and cigars and that kind of thing. So um, New Orleans definitely has a buzz. Um, but if you're going to head out, uh, take take some uh, ID with you, like some visual ID, because I went to go get some postcards in uh, Marie Laveau's House of Voodoo, and uh, I didn't have my ID, so I couldn't sell anything, so I had to take stuff out of an ATM. But... Um, I don't know, if you ever have a chance to come to New Orleans, just try to look for the Crescent City Cigar Shop. It's right in the deepest, darkest heart of the um, Red Light District. And um, just have a good time. It kind of reminds me of Amsterdam in a way, uh, because it's one of those cities across the world where pretty much every vice is encouraged. You know, drinking, smoking, and uh, all the other carnal activities. But, um, yeah. I would highly recommend a visit here if you have the chance. Uh, I'm just happy to be here because it's part of my trip. But since it was such a long layover, I wanted to like get out and walk around. So, all right. Uh, before I babble on too much, um, wishing you a good day. Um, enjoy your pipes, enjoy your tobaccos, and we'll talk to you soon. The Gentleman Scholar, signing out.